Yeah, mm? he's reading a bit too much into it, I think. He just said he's not ready. And not Back because off. he's actually not ready. It's more like he doesn't really have feelings for you. Hey guys, welcome to the Rainbow Reels with Panos and Matt. We're reacting to episode 3 of Young World season 2. What? Yes, correct. <laughs> I thought it's you said season correct. 3, episode 2. No, season 3 is coming soon. He, he, he's correct, I'm wrong. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, you never say that. That, that you're wrong, <laughs> that I'm correct. <laughs> and we have it on camera. Exactly. <laughs> For eternity. Oh, this is crazy. All right, episode 3, season 2. What happened in the last episode? I'm already, I'm already, I'm already in chaos mode because of what happened last episode <clears> with <throat> you know Sarah and August and Marcus and uh, Simon, and then Olaf turned up. Ma Malin became that enemy, and wow, she was just like was crazy. manhandling him. He was embarrassed, and and he's trying to make uh, August's life hell. August lost the control. He's not the prefect anymore. Yeah. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Episode 3. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh, so his stepdad is the best lawyer in Sweden. Not a bad thing. Wow. Wow. But true if you think about it. Yeah, the what, 16? 15, 16? Yeah, 16. All your worries and thoughts just melting away. Well, August's worries are not melting away. Yep. Oh, who do we have here? They gave him the lines, okay. Mm. It's a bit loud. Is it? So they're gonna be further away from him? They're giving him a bit more privacy? Looks it. Oh wow, was he always like that? Fast it's so cool to know that we've fucked. It's been a long time since we've fucked, and it's never gonna come undone. That is so true, no? He's so right. They always get away with it, whatever mm. they do. Especially him being the crown prince, I mean. Which is that privilege talking. It's like, oh, it doesn't matter. No, she's gonna lose Rosso. <sighs> she's gonna make drama tomorrow. I like how close they've uh, become, no? Bibimbap, or... Bibimbap, mm-hmm. Tomaten here has been a little bit Mm. Yeah, no, Olof probably doesn't know what a Pokeball no. is. She's probably thinking, damn, husband material. She just got me a Pokeball. Very smart. Training with your friends who are athletes. Oh, one of them. <laughs> That's a little weird, no? That you have to mm. compete, otherwise it's like, well, you're gonna get a bad grade. Han kom till oss i matsalen idag och frågade efter dig. Va? Ja, han trodde du var sjuk eller något. Ja, han sa att du inte hade svarat på hans meddelanden. Oh, okay, so he hasn't been responding. He's ghosting him. Jag vet inte. Well, because you still have feelings for Wilhelm. Just say yes. Hmm, what a coincidence. This is just now texting. Yeah. Jan Olaf. 
Men varför har vi inte gjort det här innan? Jag kollade hans mobil. Men Villa, mm. seriöst. Det var dumt, jag vet. Vad gör vi i alla fall? De känner absolut inte varandra. So it's funny though, I checked his phone, but he doesn't know that someone is ghosting him. Again, and what mm. we said at last episode. But just the fact that he saw that message, he now creates these stories in his head, you know? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Yeah, but he can't tell him that he's checked his phone. Mm. Yeah, but he's not just Peter Kane, though. Well, you know, Erik is also with him. But look at how we're talking. We'll see soon. Okay. Is he an ally? Wilhelm, det får jag inte svara på. Who's Erik? Oh, the brother. The brother. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I archived him already <laughs> in my mind. But det har han liksom alltid sagt. Whoops. Vi ska hålla det privat och privat. Men det känns ensamt. Och den förra terminen så, så träffade jag en vän som väckte nya känslor hos mig. Ah, oh, this is heartbreaking. Jag önskar på ett sätt att det aldrig ens hade hänt. <gasps> no, don't say that! Det var liksom bättre att inte veta hur det kan kännas. <gasps> is he referring to heartbreak? Mm. Right. Interesting, he's wearing orange and Willow was still wearing purple. So? They're switching num uh, colors. Because Willow is usually wearing orange and uh, Simon is wearing lavender purple. Ooh. Let's find a study room together. You and me. Is he gonna ask him about Marcus? <gasps> Is he doing it on purpose. Yeah, but what does it mean? It doesn't necessarily mean something. Crazy now. You just see he's like. Tell him you don't actually have feelings to. for him. Okay, he said it. That's good. Also true. It's none of your business. Funny, he has, a, he has like a tiny smile, like a smirk, you know? Him as well, or is it just me? Very. No, I think he's just thinking, like, why do you care, you know? Still ghosting. Damn, that's a little rude, especially if Marcus is that cute. Ja, för man inte pallar pressen under tävlingar så är det ingen idé. Kom igen. Det känns som att han fånar sig. Jag märker inte om disciplin. Han har... No, she's gonna oh, take that personal. She's gonna take that personal. Ja, men det kanske är du som är så lärd. Ursäkta? Han ringer dig inte maskin. Eh... Uh, fast tid är heller inte en garanti. Why is she here? Ah, oh, she's... This is not your horse. This is not the space for it. Exactly. This is not... Ni kan inte sälja till dem. I'd be like, I promise, okay, if you promise not being a bitch. Feliz is not taking it in a bad way, you know? Yeah, I would be kicking out already. Fröken, I have an idea. As if you want to have something modern. I like that this episode is a little slower mm. and they're not throwing us from one catastrophe to the other. Like we can actually breathe. Yeah. He's not really singing about the school, is he? No. He's pouring his heart out. Remove the profanity and add the score. 
Otherwise, it's not approved. Oh, she's so nice. She's very nice. So he's in a good mood now. Mm, him and Alex are best friends, it seems. Or is it just me? <laughs> oh, I like his outfit. Cute necklace. Uh oh. For you to lip sync for your life? <laughs> Då vill jag se en ren, fin slakt, kan man säga. Bra tolv. Vad ler du åt? Just say it was a great speech. Wow! Wow, the teacher is not saying anything? The teacher is disappointing. Wow, like what? August is gonna punch him. also, it's only this teacher who's always sitting there, no? That was crazy. Like, Rude. nice speech, but you really ruined your moment. I was actually thinking that was a nice speech. I don't like him. Judas. <laughs> Marcus. Oh. They're all gonna run into each other? Hmm. Is he gonna run after her? Maybe. <sighs> Wait. August is gonna run into Sarah and Simon is gonna run into Marcus. Talk. Come home. <laughs> Girl, you know why. She needs to hear the words. He just wants to talk to someone. Ah, oh, fair enough. Ah. Oh. He's gonna be like, why are you talking to August? What are you friends now, or? No. Friends with benefits? Mm-hmm. <laughs> there he is. Who do we have here? Uh, I think that we should be talking. I don't think I'm... Well, he's honest, I guess. Mm. No? Marcus is so cute. Yeah, he's being easy on him. He's not like, oh, I'm not interested. Mm. You know, it's just more like he's not ready. I can wait. It's a lot. But I don't know when I'll be there. Wow. He doesn't have feelings for you. No. <gasps> Go Don't on, lie. I think you do the perfect idea. He just called him perfect. I can buy it just now. I can't see the hell of the best of our buildings for good relationships after your dad. You're not like your dad. I'm a bit confused why he would bring his father into this now. Mm. Yeah, mm. he's reading a bit too much into it, I think. He just said he's not ready. And not Back because off. he's actually not ready, it's more like he doesn't really have feelings for you. He said it earlier, no? Mm. He's like, oh, I'm not in love with him. Like, why can't I fall in love with him? See, it goes back to what we said a few, was it episode one? With the karaoke, he's a little too pushy. Mm -hmm. You know, Marcus. No. Oh. Hey. Well, he's already half naked. Because he wants to talk. <laughs> he wants to talk. 
horse. Oh, this is crazy. You smell like a horse. He just said. He oh. said. <laughs> Should have taken a shower before. Oh, this is crazy. That's why he's shirtless. He just wanted to talk. She's, she's disappointed. But maybe he actually really enjoys talking to her. And she was able to calm him down in the previous episode, no? Can See, I... he wants to talk about the queen. Well, that's good. Right? That he feels this way. And he knows that he really effed it up. Mm. She's like, let me at least touch you. Listen, if these two end up together, I'm gonna scream. And the talking is over. I mean, everything aside, like, that might actually be a good couple, you know? Really? Tell me more. Well, I think they're like, Communicating well, like he's very open to her, towards her with his feelings and everything, and she's able to like really calm him down. And she wants that, and and she wants that life anyway. You know, she wants to be part of the upper upper class. But they, you know, what's interesting? They're they're connecting on a they're connecting on a very interesting level. Like you said, it's not superficial. We like that. At least she's responsible. You know, we obviously saw him have intercourse with uh, Feliz. Feliz. But they didn't show this type of intimacy, you know? Giggling and laughing, kissing. He was just, you know, doing it from the back. She yeah. was on her f yeah. Was she on the phone? No, she was. No, but she was on the stomach, yeah. She was. Yeah, but they're doing it a missionary here. Hmm. That's a different type of sex. Going? Where he he's going, baby? He's going. <laughs> he's going to explore. <sighs> she wants more kisses. Hey, hey! Oh, she's back. I like to smell like him, like August, a certain like someone, the horse. What will happen very, next? Um, aggressive, no? We have to. It's part of the game. No, you need to intimidate yeah, but like, them. Are we gonna kill them? Like what? You're clearly not into sports. It's like, fuck yourself. <gasps> oh, so they're rowing here? I thought they're actually rowing I in boats so on the too. lake. I thought so too. They're just what? Like, yeah. <laughs> they're just watching each other row. What is this? Oh, they are rowing on a boat. On a... <laughs> what? This is how the kids do it these days. Come on, Simon. Don't get distracted by him. Marcus, hello. He's got a really cute nose. Marcus, hmm. I agree. Hold the crown prince. Hold the crown prince. Ugh, is um, Wilhelm gonna see him? That part is hilarious, where they're holding each other. No, he fell! Ugh. Oh. Oh, shit, No, he he's up. gonna blame him. Like we said, he's gonna blame him. If they're gonna lose, he's gonna blame him, yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, it's so close! Come on, Simon! Come on! This is not good. Come on! Why are they switching so often? No, the other's one. 
They're gonna blame. He's They're gonna, gonna blame. blame Simon. So this is the first time they lose or they lost because in they... in rowing, yes. <gasps> Why? Oh, he's doing it on purpose. And someone said there and is nothing. And he literally said, "We're not oh, hanging." This is so bad, honestly. <laughs> It's not Simon's fault. All det här är bara till för att skapa någon sorts känsla och samhörighet som vi ändå inte har. Så det är inte viktigt. Det är inte det. August is right. Jag behöver inte ta det här. No, you don't have to take this. It's bullshit. I natt så drar vi till Granult. Och så äggar vi hela huset. Okej? We egg the house. I mean, what? Girl, you slipped. Are we 12 years old? He he slipped. He needs to own up. I do feel bad for him, especially when Simon said there is nothing yeah, going on. Exactly. He must feel awful. And just Marcus is like. It's like <sighs> he li he thinks oh he lied to me. Mm. You know I want to like Marcus, but he's really also just another. Villain. And I think he did it on purpose. In front of he saw Wilhelm was there. This is annoying. <gasps> Such a cute picture. Oh, in his little purple number. Oh, this is cute. Hilarious. How they looked in season one, no? Mm -hmm. I mean, they still look the same, but. <laughs> this could actually be a music video, <laughs> right? Like a heartbreak song. He's lonely by the by the lake, mm. looking into the distance. <laughs> oh, Felice to the rescue. She's just coming because she wants a Pokeball. Oh, this is him going to the castle. Oh yeah, true. I'm, I'm telling you, it's probably good, it's gonna be something good. Mm. Well, for him. Pretty big, huh? Follow me into the dungeon where the queen awaits you. Let's see what she's going to do to him. Jag skäms. Kan du sluta? <laughs> Zip it. Wilhelms beteende den här sista tiden har oroat hovet så till den grad att man känner sig nödgad att ha en reservplan. <gasps> no! Om och bara om Wilhelm inte klarar av pressen att ta över tronen. Stop. Are you joking? Den reservplanen i så fall du. Are you yeah. actually joking? Kliva in om inte Wilhelm kan. I have goosebumps. He is having an orgasm at the moment. Ja, det är inte min idé att skulle veta. Hm. Nu är det som det. Du är närmast i tronföljden. That is crazy. What? Att jag förtjänar en andra chans. Jag kommer inte göra dig besviken. Look at that smile on his face. This is crazy. So he's his cousin, right? Yes. There's no other family members, no other cousins who could actually do it before him. This is crazy. Wow. If this would ever come out. But then if it ever comes out that he was the one who released the video, it's just how can he become king, you know? They obviously need to keep it a secret. <gasps> no. What? What do you mean? You can see where this is going. Oh, stop it. Wilhelm is upset. She's lonely. She's still into him anyway, but... Oh. 
No. Oh, this is not the one. What are they doing to us? What did you say? Oh, it's a slow episode. <laughs> I did say No, that. it's not. Can I take it back? She's just looking. She's like, yeah, you know you want it. This feels a little weird. I'm not going to lie. This feels a little weird. Weird. Why would she? Why would she do that? That's a weird move for for her character. Be no, no, because she was always. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. Not us judging her already. Well, but she was always into him, you know. Yeah, but suddenly she was his friend, no? And everything and caring. But then she says stop. But then why are you carrying on? He's and she should know. He's only doing this because he's sad and depressed and... Anyway, let them have fun. Hormones. Exactly. Vi kom, vi ska pranka gra, eh, Granhult. Eh, vi, vi ska eh, pranka Gran... Run, Felice, run away! Good that they were interrupted. This is a crazy episode again. What is going on? That is the end? Of course it is. I'm actually okay with it because I'm also hungry. It's time for dinner. <laughs> Listen, I was just thinking. Um, hold on. I need to capture. I, I need to. I need to hold on. <laughs> so the queen just said what she said to August, mm -hmm. right? You are the backup. You are the backup plan. If indeed this happens, right? Yes. Backup plan B goes in effect because Villa is a mess. Mm -hmm. Villa will not forgive his mother because he will say and think, you, you chose him over me despite of what he did to me, right? So yeah, even it being a plan can, B, it's a bad plan B. It will destroy him even further, right? Well, I could see this play out in, in different ways. Are we writing the script? Yes. So one, this is one option, what you just described. But then also I could imagine that Willem is actually happy about it. Because he can live his life. Because he can live his life. Mm -hmm. right? He doesn't have the, the, the pressure on him to actually become king you know mm. he can abdicate he might not be happy that it's actually august, august who will become king yeah. but he won't become king you know and he can live his life yeah um well there was a so in episode two we had a lovely comment from one of our subscribers uh and the comment actually said remember uh, the episode where they were all drinking and partying mm -hmm. and then it was him and Villa having a, a piss outside and Villa said oh I don't want this and August said I would do it on a heartbeat yeah literally and Villa said oh I would swap if I could and and he asked him and then August said I would do it yeah so here but that was obviously then before before the, the whole video, video thing yeah, yeah, yeah. Happened, it was just you know? like a little intimate moment they had yeah, but, but he still he still might have this mindset of like, oh, if I could give this up and pass it on to you, then or pass it on to someone else. Yeah, but 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 the villain now is not the villain from season one. Yeah, you know, the villain now might actually think, no, I'm not going to give this to you because of what you did to me. I'm going to fight until the bitter end. You know, especially of what August did. I just want to understand because she also said to him now, prepare the speech, which in is case crazy. Yeah. Willem is not able to go through with yeah. it. But then that doesn't mean already that he would then take over, right? But that would be such a weird thing. You know, the crown prince is supposed to be holding a speech, think, but suddenly you have the cousin. Yeah. Why is the cousin holding a speech? I think it would maybe show the public or whoever. That the monarchy that he's, is intact. No, that August would be officially his... Um, Oh, I see what you mean. Next yeah, in line. Next in line. Would be, you know, they, they will make it official by doing that. Mm. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. And how, how Willem will, will react to it. Yeah. Because obviously, she now told August, but is she going to tell Willem? Or are they just going to keep it a secret for now? 
I don't think she would. They, I don't think they will tell Willem because Willem is a bit of a mess to, uh, uh, to, 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 you know, work through this level of information. Yeah. And either way, like, I guess they still have to wait until he's 18 anyway to make a decision, you know? Mm-hmm. She also said to him like, last episode, like, let's wait until you're 18. Mm-hmm. Maybe you will also feel differently about your sexuality, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And then we can decide how to go. Yeah. It's crazy to think how this all is playing out in the shadows and Villa doesn't know about it. You know, like his mom is calling in August. They're having this conversation, which is a huge conversation. And then Villa, in the meantime, is in his room eating my pokeball, you know, <laughs> with Felice. What did you think of the scene between Felice and Willem? Yeah, crazy. I mean, I think it was a build up throughout the episodes, mm-hmm. right? Him thinking that Simon is lying to him. About mm-hmm. Marcos. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Marcos appeared and kissed him in front of him. Exactly. Yeah. Because obviously Mar- Simon told him before, like, no, there's nothing. Like, we're not together. Mm-hmm. It's nothing serious. Um, yeah. And then he saw them kissing. So, yeah. I think he's slowly trying to distance himself from Simon. Which, in a way, because would be just... a healthy thing to do because Simon asked him for more space, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, and also just for his own good, because like his heart is broken. It's not good for him to to see Simon with someone else, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then he's just <clears throat> very emotional at the moment mm-hmm. and just needs some, some distraction. So Felice was there, like she's a very good friend and... But I find it a little disappointing that Felice would do such a thing. And I don't know why the writers would go down that route, because in a way it's also obvious, you know, like it's something that we've seen before in shows like this, mm. where, you know, like you have the the victim, like the person that has their heart broken, and then you have the other person trying to help and fix their heart, their, their you know, the, the issue or listen to them. But then, they're taking advantage of the situation. And here you have the very same thing. So that I thought was a little disappointing because it was nothing original. It wasn't. Mm. But who do you think took advantage in this situation? I think Felice took advantage. Really? I think so. I feel like Wilhelm took advantage. Really? Because he he was the one I felt like who initiated this more than Felice. And he's the one, obviously, who's, like, upset and emotional and he just wants this distraction. And she's there. She's very close to him. Mm -hmm. They're good friends. Felice, yes, I think she has or maybe had feelings for him at the Mm -hmm. beginning, like in season one. Yeah. But I think she genuinely sees him more as a as a friend, a good friend now. Which is even more of a... Like, why are you taking advantage of him? So I think that's also then why... they they were obviously kissing and then she she stopped but then they continued and she then didn't stop continued. it again you should so, be like listen this yeah. is not the one you know you're not in a great space your heart was broken yeah she she should know better like she should, she should know should better have, yeah but luckily his uh, classmate came in stopped the situation and it didn't happen and i think they're both going to be happy about it that actually nothing in else hindsight happened. yeah I hope so. I think so. You know, Villa doesn't need that either. Mm. He doesn't need that either. I was, you know what I was also thinking with Sarah and August after, you know, they, they had sex and everything. And then she comes into the room and Felice is like, oh, you've been, you know, have, mm. have you been at the stable up until now? And she's like, yes. I just kept thinking, wow, if this comes out, if this comes out. It's it's such a bomb, you know. Yeah, I want to know what Felice would think about it. Awful. Because if you think about it, you know, she cared for her. She she sees her as a friend. She looks after her. She cares for her. She can ride the horse. She has a lot of say regarding the horse. You saw the attitude that she had when those buyers came. Yeah. She behaved like the own th- she, like she behaves like she owns the building, you know. But then imagine also, off the back of that um, pajama party that they had, the summer mm-hmm. party, where, where Felice broke up with August off the back of what 
Sarah told her, yeah. oh, you know, August kissed me. And then she broke up with him through mm. uh, Instagram, through a story. But here is Sarah yeah, having a good time with him. Awful. That is awful. Also, if she finds out that she told August that it was actually her, Felice, you know, Even who more, found out about the video. The level of betrayal is crazy. The level of betrayal is... Well, yeah. And then obviously, as you said, um, Sarah and August had sex, right? Mm -hmm. Now, with this whole new situation, him being next in line and everything, mm. wow. He might push her away. No, I don't think so. She will be even more interested in him. Uh, but he won't tell her. Do you think he'll tell her? Yes, I think so. But the Queen literally just said this needs to stay between us. I think he will tell her. I don't think so. I think he takes because, that more serious. Because he even confided in her. was like, oh, the Queen wants to see me. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. She, she said like, oh, I'm sure it's going to be fine. Da, 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 you know. But I don't see August going to Sarah and being like, hey, listen, it was a good conversation. She actually offered me the throne. He's not that stupid. Especially with someone like Sarah, who's just... A little loose cannon. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. But he's also someone who is like, he wants to be in control. He wants to have the power. He wants to have influence. I don't think he can keep it to himself. I hope he can because we have enough drama. Right? Enough, 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 enough. Funny, yeah, like you said, oh, it, like I said, it was a slow episode. <laughs> and then suddenly <laughs> the second like... half was like, well, think again. <laughs> anyway, it was good fun, but it's just becoming more and more compl complicated, more and more convoluted. It's a lot. It's a lot to take in. But nonetheless, not disappointing. No, it was a good episode. They yeah. just keep throwing things at us, like twists. I like the fact that Simon actually stood up to himself, uh, to, to Vincent and said, listen, I don't have to take this. I'm out of oh, the team. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because it was Vincent who, who, who you know, cost them the win. So he needs to own up to it as well. Like, you can't be that bully, you know, leader, coach, whatever you want to call yourself. But then, you know, don't own up to your mistakes. Because, anyway, not not surprised that he behaved like that. And I think he's also slowly realizing it. Because when they were having that lunch in that big hall together, um, and he did what he did with the water and whatnot, and August then stood up and left, I think mm -hmm. he started realizing, you know, he's becoming a little too tough. Right. Yeah. And I also like the fact what August said about the community. You know, this is supposed to create community and this is the lot. Like, yeah. There is no community here, so it doesn't matter. It's good for him to say that, actually. Yeah. I hope with um, Simon, obviously, he was saying before that he he needed to be in the, in the team, right, with the rowing and stuff, because mm. it will help him to, to get an A or something. Mm. Um. But I hope maybe he doesn't have to do sports. Maybe maybe him actually being involved with like the music and singing the song at that the event that would be a, a different thing that could help him to come be, yeah. get good grades. You know, we'll see. But you know, like, that teacher is a big fan of his, and she loved the song without the profanity. Without the profanity, and she needs to get it approved by the principal. But she loved the song, so that's that's a good thing. Um, yeah, episode three, good fun. Not disappointing. Explosive, like ever. We will be back for episode four. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Leave a comment, press that like button, and until next week, bye. Take care.